how to use grandma's books. Before you look at the book and before you listen to the DVD, it would be a good idea to go to grandma's website and print out the word slides for each section of the book that you are going to go through. The word slides are really simple. They consist of a piece of paper and you cut out a strip and put it in and you know that E makes the E sound and then you move the strip in order to change the word. So E, B, we, me. Let the student move this up and down until they know all of these words. Then go to the book and at the top of each page point to and say the simple words. He, be, she, me, we. After you've done that, play a match game, a word match game that you'll find on the website that will help, again, get the E sound and the various letters that are connected to it in your head before going back to read the book. B, he, the, me, he, he, yes. Next, go through the book and match the word at the top of the page to the word in the sentence. He and he. Be and be. There's a lot of learning that goes on as we do this, just to point to the word at the top of the page and find the word in the sentence. Go back to the beginning of the set of words that you are working on. Point to the word at the top of the page and say it. Point to the word in the sentence and say it. And then point to whatever in the picture it is that describes this word. So he, he, and he. Some of them might be a little hard. B and B. B is an action word. So it's a little harder to figure out in the picture what that is. Do that on each page as much as you can. And if you're the teacher, describe the meaning of the word be or she or he as you go through. Make sure you look up whatever you don't understand in a dictionary. Now go back to the book and look at the top of the page, say that word, and then have the student or learner say the word in the sentence. And you, as the teacher, read the rest of the sentence. He, he is tall. B. He, you just learned that one, you can say it. He has to be the dad. Do that for all of the small simple words that you are learning. Have the students say the words that they have learned so far. Now it's time for the student to go through and to read as much of the page as they can with the teacher only filling in the words when they need help. They read the word at the top of this page and then they read the complete sentence at the bottom of the page. And if they're learning English as a second language, then they could say in their own language what's actually happening on the page, what's happening with the sentence, and do their own little translation too to make sure that they understand the words that they are saying in English. Remember to ask for help as you need it. It's never a bad thing to ask for help. And use a dictionary if you are not understanding what the words mean in the language that is your native language. Grandma would like to help you if you don't have someone else that is helping you learn to read. We can do that through the use of the DVDs that are available with this series. 
You can repeat after grandma the words and the sentences as we go through and learn all of these new wonderful words. In the A series, Grandma underlined words that didn't follow the pattern, and we have a lot of those in English. The words that I underlined in the A series will no longer be underlined in the E series. We are going to assume that you already know those, and you know that they don't follow the pattern. I will, however, start off the E-series with a new list of words that don't follow patterns. And throughout the E-series, we will always underline those in red or underline them if you're looking at the black and white books. To remind you, you need to pay attention here because these don't follow the pattern. Learning a language together with someone else can be a lot of fun. And I hope that if you don't have someone to share that fun, you'll share it with Grandma and learn to read with Grandma.